Hi, it's Joy Entertainment. You're watching Hawkeye season one, episode one. Never meet your heroes. I'm so excited for this show. Um, I have loved every single Marvel TV, Disney Plus thing that has come out recently. <laughs> what am I on about? In the past year, this one they've all come out. I have been looking forward to this one a lot because I absolutely adore Haley Steinfeld. I have probably said her name wrong because I have a mental block when it comes to names. Um, so I'm very excited to see her in this role. I believe she's playing Kate Bishop. I don't know much about her. I just know I've heard a lot of people talk about that character. Um, and I'm just really excited to watch this show. Hawkeye and Jeremy Renner have never been one of my favourite part of the Avengers, um, but I don't hate Hawkeye by any means, so I'm excited to kind of have a show exploring him. And yes, I have not watched the trailer for this show. I'm trying to, at the moment, I am avoiding any promos and trailers or anything because I feel like that means I enjoy it more because I don't know what to expect and then it's a better reaction because I'm not like oh yeah that was in the trailer because I remember trailers very well. A reminder as always that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon along with all my reactions. Oh let's go! What would you do in a hurricane? I would do what I always do. Protect you. Protecting people, is that something she's taken to heart here? Mm hmm Not a good time to be in a New York penthouse. I love seeing things like this, like how ordinary people were affected by this, especially this was like the first big public alien thing. Is her dad dead? Her dad was in the study, right? Did Hawkeye save her life? Yes, he did. Never meet your heroes, oh god, how is that meeting gonna go? But that is how her admiration grew. I don't think Dad's okay. I need to protect us. Okay, that's my job. It is no child should take on the responsibility of protecting their family. But let her learn to defend herself and fight, yes. So by the looks of it, she's done a lot of training of various different fighting styles. Kate, careful. If we get caught, you're definitely gonna be kicked off the archery team. <laughs> but if that's a bet, Greer. Okay, for a bet. Does the bell swing back and forth or does the dangling thingy in the middle swing back and forth? It's hmm. obviously the bell. Let me just fix this, give me a second. Oh god, don't overdo it! <laughs> <laughs> she got the dangly thing. Oh my god. Oh lord, she's expelled, right? <laughs> what a funny coincidence that that should happen. I have nothing to do with that. Rogers the musical. I, I need to see that right now. Thank you. <laughs> he didn't even wear purple, did he? So many of these people are gone now. Did you turn your hearing aid off? <sighs> Yo, honey, I know. I know what happens. I was there. <laughs> oh, they've finally given him his hearing aid. <laughs> this is like a high school production, it seems like it. But if they. Oh. Her aunt Nat and like, Steve is a, is gone. So Tony's fun. dead. <laughs> I do think Disney Plus needs to release what is the musical because as ridiculous as that seemed, I do want to watch it. As much as I love having you home for the holidays, I'm 
not thrilled that I'm about to replace an irreplaceable clock tower. <laughs> the dean's At least they haven't fully expelled her. It pays to be rich. There, Mom? What's with all the swords, Mom? <laughs> Hun, uh, there have been a few changes oh, yep. way this semester. Ta-da. He lives here now. <laughs> See you at the party. See you there, honey. Lots more to talk about. Life is changing. The Christmas tree. The biggest one yeah. you'll ever see in your life. He's trying to make up for all the lost time he had with his kid. He didn't have when they were blipped and he was alone and... Mom was going. Say hi. Appreciate it if you wear something a little more ladylike for the wedding so we won't be competing. Oh. What wedding? You don't know. You just... Uh, did it. God, he did that on purpose, did he? Like, you just say, oh, um, the next society wedding that we all go to, or whatever. Seems like you won the jackpot. Mm hmm. Sure is he. I'm not so sure. It's her mother, shut up, horrible man. <sighs> Your mum's happy. It's been a long time. Sorry, I'm sorry you found out this way. You could have told her before you left. Oh. Is that a stray? Ooh, are they involved in some kind of shady business? She still eavesdrops. Is that guy threatening you? I honestly, I, I have no idea. Why are you lurking in the hallway? I'm so sorry, getting out. So come back to the party, okay? Don't lie to her. She's an adult now. She's gonna get herself more involved in mess and like in whatever you're talking about. Find out things, more things, the wrong way if you don't just tell her. Kate, her mom's definitely involved. If they're both here, right? I breached my breaking point with your fiance. Oh. Things are about to get very ugly. Jesus Christ. What is going on here? She definitely hasn't learnt yet that things can be dangerous. I mean, if these people catch her, it won't matter who she is or how young she is or... You know, I, this, this, is, um, this is not going to work out. I quit. You, you can't quit. Hold on. <sighs> She's quick on her feet and, like, quick thinking. That girl will be like, she did you in there. <laughs> Are they just into like shady art deals or like stolen? Or is there something more, even more sinister than just stolen items? Can own this one of a kind retractable sword. Oh Lord. He loves swords. You don't have 300 grand. No, but I'll have had to one day, woman. Oh. God. Did Kate? She don't know. She's not overhearing them anymore, is she? To hear that? Is this like? Are these people planning to rob the secret auction? Like, what is happening here? The Ronin suit. Holy shit! Yep, they are robbing the illegal auction. Oh lord, what is he part of? Other than just being a slimy man who... <sighs> Does she know the real identity of the Ronin? Cause she's... he's her hero? Do you, know who I am? Do you think he cares? <sighs> Kate... I mean this is the first time she's putting her skills into action. She's clearly very skilled, which... <laughs> Your daughter is right in the thick of the trouble, of course. <laughs> Lucky it, I mean it doesn't really fit her. Lucky it fits her enough. <laughs> oh. She's so resourceful, I love it. Oh god. Keep going. She's never had such a prolonged fight for her life, or any fight for her life before. 
I doubt. Oh. Come on. What? I found it. The dog! Good boy! Oh lord. It survived this long. Oh my god. <laughs> that is something he would like to forget at a very dark time. Even if he was stopping bad guys, he wasn't exactly following a code. Oh god. Dogs will... Do not destroy this apartment. <laughs> She's highly trained, but very inexperienced in tactics and like the realities of what she's trained for but what are you planning here sweetheart oh my god if they find any evidence the road if there's a security camera or whatever they would just think the ronin did it won't they oh god Oh god. Now, uh, that's not the real Ronin. She's quite clearly not the original person you faced. <sighs> oh god. Clint. He's more. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> He's more used to fighting. The realities of fighting. Come on. <laughs> you're, you're a Hawkeye. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Never meet your heroes. Ugh. This was such a good episode. Um, I'm really excited for this show, but I've just loved all of the Marvel shows, so there's no real surprise there. I think they did a really good job of introducing Kate to us as a character. You know, I am not someone that has read the comics, um, so I've only heard her name in passing and knew she was, you know, linked to Hawkeye. Um, so to kind of see her backstory, her origin story, if you will, her what, how her father died and how that affected her and how, you know, often like, I... I mean, I don't overly struggle, but it's a hard sell to think, often sometimes in TV shows, to have somebody who's just like a, lived a fairly average life suddenly becoming a superhero overnight without having superpowers. Some of the Arrowverse shows have that, and I kind of think, well, you need more training, and then, yes, then you can do it. Whereas Kate, they've just made it so clear that she never wanted to feel that helpless again, and I think she wanted to protect people because that's what her dad would do in that situation. So she learned archery, fighting, gymnastics, you know, she has just fully focused and thrown her entire childhood or the rest of her childhood into becoming somebody that is capable of being a superhero. And obviously with that, she still, they've also done a good job of showing that she still has the naivety of a early 20s girl who, other than the loss of her father, like I'm not saying she's never known hardship, but you know, she's always had money and not have to worry about that side of things she has a mother that loves her you know kind of she's not although she's excellent at fighting and i think she has everything all the components to make a brilliant superhero she along with all of them she has to learn a bit more real world experience of being on the ground fighting now maybe if in the next episode they're like oh no she's been breaking into houses and fighting criminals for 10 years i'll be like okay um but i really liked how they kind of juxtaposed just how skilled she is and how capable she is with how she's still very inexperienced in this kind of situation um and just how much she idolizes Hawkeye um and just again seeing the event the Avengers assemble from the point of view of the ordinary people who just live in their lives I love even if it is tragic that she lost her dad um so I really really enjoyed Kate's character I'm so excited to get to know her more over the course of the rest of this six episodes I believe it is series and I'd like her to be in the movies I just I like her um and then with the finding out more about her family obviously she comes well her father was very rich he grew up in that penthouse that she's now grown up grown up in and it seems as though her mother has fallen for a man who is using her for access to the money um 
you know, maybe he was just acting the smarmy guy with his smarmy friend, but that was quite clearly an illicit auction. So hopefully the worst those rich men are up to is just being shady rich men, which is not exactly a shock. And again, for Kate's sake, hopefully her mother didn't know he was going down to the that side of auction, but maybe she did, I don't know. Um, Kate should warn her or at least see what she knows about it, but maybe she already knows everything, who knows? Um, that is definitely a shadier side to the Kate's life and Kate's mom's life than Kate would have thought was there beforehand. So I am just excited to see how all that shapes up. Um, I feel like at the moment Kate is going to be going through a very momentous time both in her personal life, what with even if it was a normal happy engagement with her mum moving on from her dad and getting engaged, going to uni, drawing the prizes, bell tower. Um, but she's just at this really turning point in both her personal life and becoming a vigilante or a superhero or wherever her story is going to take her, meeting Hawkeye. Um, and then you have Clint who he's kind of completely on the other side of the spectrum. You know, she's at the beginning of everything. He is at the end of everything. And by that I don't mean he's dying. I just mean he's done it for so long. He has lost so many colleagues. You know, Nat was the person that was closest to him and he lost her. But he also, whether he was close to them or not, he lost Tony. He's lost Cap because Steve went back in time and lived a full life. He's not around with his friends. The world is different. He's dealing with the grief of the snap of knowing that he lived five years without his family, that he went to a very dark place in those five years. Because while, you know, stopping lots of cartels and whatnot is a good mission, just slaughtering them all isn't the right way to do it. And, you know, he was in that very dark mindset of, so my children and my wife died and you get to live? No, thank you. Um, to now going back to just trying to fit in and be the dad and be happy, that is something that's going to be weighing on him. And I think he needs to deal with in order to be able to fully believe he has his kids back but it was beautiful to see him with his family and um, those children deserve a dad and I hope nothing terrible happens to him in the show um the Steve Rogers musical was everything <laughs> I mean it did look production value wise kind of like um a high school production or like a off-broadway production rather than like a Maybe it was the early days of the musical, but, the, but I, I want them to release Steve Rogers, the musical or whatever it was called, because it would be hilarious, um, especially as they are fictional characters, so I wouldn't have to feel the grief of them being dead, because I would know that, yeah, they, they, they're dead. It's fine. No, it's not fine. None of it's fine, and pretty much I'll cry. But just Clint, he's kind of, he's been through hell. He knows the physical and emotional wounds that being a superhero vigilante weighs on you. He knows that you will get close to people and you will see them die. Um, I'm interested to see what he's gonna, how he's gonna react and what he's gonna make of this young girl with a whole life ahead of her following in his footsteps. Because we know we need superheroes, um, you know, I, given that it's taken a few years since they last saw Ronin, then I guess this is taking place in 2021, I don't know, like, timeline-wise where Peter's story is taking place because I think maybe that's going to still be a little bit in the past from where we are now. But, you know, she'll be around the same age as Peter and some of the other younger heroes aren't that much older than her. You know, we do need a new generation to kind of replace the older ones and let the older ones like Clint retire with his family without feeling like he's leaving the world every time that there's a crisis, he should go there because he'll be able to think, well, no, there's someone new. But is he going to be like furious that she'd ever put it on? Is he going to tell her to not do it? Is he going to be like, oh look, I just, I, I saved you, I'm done with you. I'm just intrigued about where he's going to be. The fact that the episode was called Never Meet Your Heroes does make me think that he's not going to be like, 10 out of 10, best decision you've ever made, I support this, let me train you. But I do feel like they're going to end up in some shenanigans. So I am excited. I'm excited to know more about the dog. That was an unexpected little moment. Um, but yeah, this was a really, really promising first episode. So a reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon. And thank you so much for watching.